uh, if I go further, so I can show you in the slide, so everybody can see on the slide, so where we can see, you know, a picture, so mentioning the characters. So if you see the slide carefully, so at the left top, uh, you can see you know, the word SQC. And all we know is the acronym of uh, students research. For a long time, when students get involved in SQC activities, obviously the students are able to build up two types of characters. Uh, they are known as smart character and good character. So the ultimate purpose of SQC is to uh, produce a TQP. Means SQC works to convert okay, a general person to TQP. That stands for total quality person. So what kind of person do we say TQP or total quality person? Uh, you can say there. There are two heads. Uh, one head is saying, I'm smart, I will win. That means the head with smart character. Another head you can see over there, which is saying, I'm good, I will shop people. That represents good character. So when a person you know, has two types of characters, both smart and good character, and a person is said to be a total quality person. So in the long run, the students involved in SQC can be total quality person in the future. The next slide, so we have here, the two types of characters, we are saying that smart character, can further be elaborated into 11 heads. These all are the characters. So which okay, the students have to acquire. They have to inculcate these uh, characters. Okay, some are smart characters and some are good characters. You can see each character in each head, their creativity, Self confidence and self discipline, broader vision. So, like these characters, the students can acquire when they involve themselves in SQC activities. So, different approaches and the different characters we can gain. So when we okay, make a practice of doing work in a team, this always has a collaborative advantage. <laughs> that working in an SQC activity builds up the teamwork habit in young mind, young students like you. So you can see how important the teamwork is. The work which we find or which we feel or which we see impossible, that impossible changes into possible. So when we start doing work in a team, okay, that has the power of synergy. That impossible changes into possible. So we have a mindset of doing work in a team because we already had experience Okay, of some activities that we learn from SQC in class six and class seven. And we learn more in class eight. And here we have another slide. This slide shows two pictures. And these pictures uh, belong to the same people at different times. You can see above in 1997. And you can see below this. 2012. If you observe the photo carefully, the one small kid in 1997 is found crying. The same baby when it grows into adult in 2012 also, she is found crying like. And here, what does this picture show to us? 
the life goes not as how you think okay but definitely as how you live so in any circumstances so we must have ability to okay live our life happily so this you know belongs to the mindset of people as thinking of people that is positive thought or which we also call attitude and we know so attitude makes impact okay first then they change into habit and obviously habits from our life so let's change our attitude dear students if you want to change the world we have to start okay, from ourselves and what is attitude so everybody knows the attitude is the feeling or thinking of something or somebody so how you think okay are uh, in the environment or how you think about other people or how you think about any events so you're thinking your mindset so how you think you feel your experience is that it somehow it is also the way of communicating of your mood to others so your mood can be shown to others okay by your attitude and the attitude can be positive and negative as well and obviously students what do we have to know in our life okay that attitude is the critical factor uh, to success if we have positive attitude obviously it takes or it leads to us the success so here in the picture so everyone knows okay this is an iceberg you can see the iceberg just above the surface of water so how much do you see of an iceberg this small part okay that is visible uh, but if i show the next slide and the, in real the iceberg is like this the form in the sea or ocean so only we see the 10% above the surface and the remaining 90% is below the sea level and if we connect this you know that the conditions of iceberg to our life to human's life then what do you find there see so what do people see okay in us it is our knowledge and our skills that our knowledge and skills are known to others these are visible but how we build our knowledge or how we gain our skills that depends on our attitude which is invisible and if we have positive attitude so if you have a very strong attitude obviously it always that help us to get that the enough adequate knowledge and that also makes us able to cope up with the life so attitude always has impact uh, even in our behavior so if you have attitude so which is positive then you always show good behavior to others and even to yourself okay if i have my attitude is positive that means i always have good manner so i can see some students okay writing on the screen so this is also you know a very good examples of attitude and the next is obviously if we you know that uh, represent the each letter of the word with the number sequentially and we find see the attitude word so it gives the sum of 100 So, if you really want to be hundred percent successful, that means what help us? Obviously, that is attitude. And you can see, okay, furthermore, so it is your attitude, so not your skill only to determine to determine your attitude. So, if you really want to go high up, so if you really want to be a very successful person, that means what helps you? Obviously, it is attitude. So. You you must have positive attitude, and positive attitude, positive mindset always gives you know, that positive heart. And when we think positively, then our action also becomes positive. So for a few days, when our action becomes so good and very positive, uh, then in turn it becomes a habit. So positive action leads to positive habit, and ultimately it gives us good character. So. to acquire good character by one 
So one must have positive attitude. You can see the attitude of different criteria. We must learn, okay, to help others and always asking questions ourselves is building the attitude of what can I do for you today? That means as children, children should ask themselves that what can they do for the parents? And as citizens, they always ask or they must ask themselves that what can they do for the nations? That what can a person do for society and others? This kind of attitude one must have inside it. That means we should build such kind of attitude. And so if we realize that knowingly or unknowingly some mistakes then happen from us, then we must have mind of or we must have a habit of saying sorry. This is the attitude of saying sorry. And then attitude of gratitude. So I like to thank all the students so for being in online class okay, in such situations. The attitude of gratitude. We should say thank. Thank you for. And attitude of learn to love. So what you do for a living. Okay, that means uh, we must not have habit of complaining of uh, complaining about our life, complaining about our you know work, or like that. So first, you must know what do you like to do. So once you start doing that work, we should make habit of liking the work. It's the attitude of living, okay, life happily. So attitude of forgiveness. A big heart, always forgive you know, others, and attitude of networking. So building network. So building network is one of the character a leader must have. Like connecting to the people, okay, and communicating with the messages, informations, okay, to other people. Okay, it is the ability of networking. And attitude of removing mental locks. That means we should always have open mind. That means we must be ready to learn new things in every moment. Uh, attitude of think. Okay, so we practice brainstorming uh, to generate new ideas. That is one of the techniques okay, to cultivate the habit of thinking. And this is the attitude of fairness, which was uh, transparency. So what you think from inside, that means uh, you should show the same kind of actions right, in your life. This is the attitude of honesty. We should be honest to ourselves. We should be honest to others. That always keeps the people happy and attitude of change. So a very difficult work in a human's life is to change. To bring the change is very tough work, but we must change ourselves okay, according to the circumstances and according to the demand of time. So be there just complaining and just dreaming or riffing of the problem that comes in life. So let's start to identify the problem and solve the problem by finding the causes. And let's not procrastinate. So we can start from now. So what do you like to do in the life? And end of wishing is a very powerful, you know, that is, uh, that is character or the habit that the most uh, people must have. And finally, it's the attitude of learning. So nothing can stop. So when a person has a strong desire to learn, so finally, now I'm at the end of the you know, presentations. So I wish all these friends who are listening to me. So if you start walking, or if you commit yourselves that doing new work, and remember all this. That means work hard, okay, but with your intelligence. That means work smartly. 
So let me conclude this presentation. So by swaying and saying one thought, if you have a positive attitude and constantly strive to give your best effort, eventually you will overcome your immediate problems and find you are ready for greater challenges. So hope you like the presentations and understand little. Thank you so much. So I'm back, dear my students. Uh, now let me know from you. So after that listening and looking the presentations, so did you learn something or not? So if anybody likes to see, then you can raise your hand. So we'll unmute your mic and then you can hear your voice. So observing and looking the slides, uh, did you uh, get some idea that what is SPC and what is the main aim of SPC? And further questions from my side to is, so do you really like to get involved in SPC or not? So the reading, let's say learning or working in SPC activities for two years, in grade six and seven, so what do you experience? So what new things you learn from me? Okay, as you see. So anyone can share. Uh, it's time, okay, for you to speak. So I can see some students. Uh, Kelvin is there, Supreme, Karun, Arya, Ismiti, Sivdil, and Rohan Bandari, Goro Babu Swester, and even Saugat Karan. So if anybody likes to put a few words uh, regarding SQC or today's uh, you know, online presentation, so you can raise your hand and speak to us. Um, excuse me, sir. Our time is almost finished. Uh, okay. But uh, so if I'll be you know, so happy if I hear the uh, song from our students. It's almost time is left, Madam Sir. Uh, I can give you almost around two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, sir. Uh, Kelvin. So, what is your experience in class seven? Yes, so sir. When you worked, yeah. When you worked, okay, just uh, for doing a case study, that for solving the problem in your team. So, what experience uh, did you have? Uh, so it was a great exp experience learning in grade seven as an ex uh, SQC student. So yeah. I experienced that uh, I, I was developing uh, skills like self-discipline, uh, self-learning, uh, decision-making skill. And I also learned uh, some presentation skill which I can perform in front of, which I performed uh, in front of the judges. and. Oh uh also that i learned more and more about positive attitude how can we go uh, move ahead in our life uh, with the help of positive attitude and i learned the importance of positive attitude for making a life successful thank you so much Kelvin. thank you so much it's my person to hear you a lot from art men uh, thank you so much i okay, hope to meet you next time So last time we had a discussion uh, that attitude is 100% of everything we do. So attitude is the foundation and support of everything we do. The real fight in human's life is to uh, defeat the negativity. The negative feelings come into our mind. So. So let's fly above the negativity. Uh, this is the prime way of life. And how can we overcome the negativity? We all know just cultivating the positive attitude. So whenever we build up good manners, good behaviors, or positive mindset in us, so we can easily defeat the negative feelings like ego, hatred and then a jealousy
when we we used to have debate on the topic education is uh, greater than wealth money but this picture shows so when you have education only and no money at all you cannot see the whole world that you are born to see another part if you have money you are rich but you if you do not have knowledge at that time also you will not be able to see the whole world so to see the full picture to live our life in a full so we have to gain both education and money as well and if you don't have both and the life will be completely dark this is the balance that we need to keep in our life another pack picture you can see on your screen the picture shows okay clearly that heart and mind heart and brain are the two key elements in human's life you know good character arises from the heart and smart character that gets incubated from the brain from the brain mind mind so to be a total quality person one must acquire both good and smart character let's see some characters of total quality person so we are classified as good character and smart character we can acquire good character when we have good heart and we can have smart character so when we have intelligent brain intelligent mind so walking together and keeping together both heart and mind helps us to acquire the characters which our total quality person must have some of the good characters that we can build up in our life are honesty positive outlook creativity religious commitments and some of the smart characters you can see over there that knowledge of the subject content and the practical skills to work even another character you can see that communication skills now let's begin day strains of class 8 the chapter of spc of grade a the first chapter we are going to read in sqc is attitude and what is attitude simply so attitude is the feeling or thinking or behaving about someone or something it shows how a person thinks or feels about someone or something it is a person mental state once buddha said what you think you become so if i say that life is all about attitude then i am not wrong the great psychologist philosopher william james said that the greatest discovery of my generation is that people can alter their lives by altering altering their attitudes of mind now after knowing the meaning of attitude dear students let's know the types of attitude there are three types of attitude but mainly we have classified attitude into two types and you know this the types of attitude are positive attitude and negative attitude 
attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. This is said by Winston Churchill. Though we do not observe carefully, though we feel that attitude is very little thing for us, but the main key, the key element that brings success in our life is attitude, our mental state. What we think, okay, our thought always leads towards our action. So attitude leads towards behavior. Now let's come to know the positive attitude. What is positive, positive attitude? A uh, positive attitude is the positive mindset that always enables people to be in a very optimistic state of mind. With a positive attitude, we always see the bright side of life. We become optimistic and expect the best to happen. So it is certainly a state of mind that is well worth of developing. You can see when a person, when a young student like you, have the characters, have the mindset like happiness, self-motivated, optimistic, highly encouraged. That means we have positive attitude. You can see in another picture there. So what are the examples of positive attitude? You can see confidence, the outlook, smart outlook and your positive mindset and a strong belief and optimism always hope for the better result always hope for the best expecting the good result is the optimism these are the examples of positive attitude now let's go to another type of attitude there is strength it is a negative attitude the opposite of positive is negative so we say helpful we say love we say cheerful okay they, they are positive attitude opposite to them so when we start fighting with our friends with the people and when we hate okay somebody or something and this hatred and then fighting are the negative attitude it is a feeling that is not constructive it always destroys the people. Okay, it is not cooperative, and always pessimistic. That means the people do not have desire to do anything. So when they have negative attitude, you can see expressions, okay, like hopeless, younger, and blaming others. These are negative attitude. This kind of attitudes should be avoided, avoided by us in our life and let's see okay, when the people have, have negative thinking when they feel insecure and no vision or no ideas the people they live the life but they don't have any goal and they feel always like a failure that means they are dominated by negative attitude now Let's connect to another part of the lesson, the strengths of class eight. The differences between negative attitude and positive attitude. You can see the picture over there. So when the people do not favor of changing according to the need and circumstances, that means they are afraid of change. These are the people who are negative. And the positive people always are ready to learn new things. They are always ready for new experiences. This is one difference between negative attitude and positive attitude. The second difference is jealousy. It's a negative attitude, but wanting others to succeed is a positive attitude. Like this, you can find another difference between negative attitude and positive attitude. It is, we know 
no one is perfect nothing is perfect so sometime we can be criticized but that criticism or failure we should take as the lessons to go ahead in the life but the negative people they always hate to be criticized wherever the positive people they are constructive and they discuss they negotiate they talk to each other and they learn from the failure next is if we if the people say i can't do anything about it this is my destiny that means this is my limitation so what is my potential potentiality so i can do this much only when the people limit themselves like this means they have negative mindset but the positive mindset people they want to change you know thomas alva edison he tried thousand times just to invent a bulb filament lamp and he said that he did not fail for all thousand times he had different ideas or methods to find the new things so changing in the life is the real meaning of living a life now selfishness so when the people only think about the personal benefit or gain that is also meant to be the negative mindset but the positive mindset that means good behavior okay having the people always say that means uh, not to hurt others feelings but helping other people and this picture you can see another difference between negative attitude and positive attitude this picture shows clearly about the fixed mindset and the growth mindset think they know everything is the fixed mindset it is the preoccupied mind when the people say that i am so talented so how much should i know i have that much knowledge that is the fixed mindset i don't need to learn new things i have so many skills to live my life the thinking like is fixed mindset this is actually a negative attitude a person must have open mind always ready to learn the new things when a person welcomes the new knowledge new skill and no new opinion that means the person is rich with the positive attitude positive mindset they are so hunger for learning the new things they strive to learn something new once there was an old man of 90 years old so in the sea he was found learning new symbols of chinese chinese language though he belonged to france he was a french but he was learning the chinese symbols a man asked him so at this age why are you learning the new language it is very difficult to learn the old man replied gently that when a person starts learning the new things means that person is no more living that is dead so if you want to say yourself that you you are alive you are alive you are living your life means that learning should be a continuous process next here there is trends you can see a girl is showing index figure to others that means she is blaming others for mistakes but the people with positive mindset take the responsibility for the failures so instead of blaming others now let's cultivate the habit of realizing and taking the responsibility of our own failures your choice what you want to acquire so you always want to have with negative mindset or you want to act with a positive mindset because what we know so we may not be able to change our height our height or our body type but we are always able to change our attitude once the people realize once the people think that so i have to change myself so from that time the people can change themselves that means thinking positive and 
bringing positive actions in every activities is the real meaning of changing or acquiring the positive attitude. So let's connect to another topic. So I say positive attitude is very important in one's life. I hope you also agree with this. Why? We know attitude is the foundation and support of everything we do. It is a key element in the process of controlling our destiny and even achieving mastery in our personal and professional life as well. And positive attitude bears so many good characteristics. It always benefits the people. Likewise, you can see there, positive attitude increases productivity. It always helps to solve the problem. And once a person has a strong desire to get quality in life, and positive attitude is there to help him or her. It always increases profits. And you can see there, positive attitude also makes a person with a pleasing you know, behavior, a smart character. And finally, great strengths, great strengths. I would like to conclude today's very short presentation about attitude, types of attitude, and difference between positive and negative attitude. You can see there, a picture of an eagle. An eagle is such a bird which flies against the wind, against the storm. So I wish, so may your heart also soar like an eagle. Let's overcome the problem in life. Let's not run away from the problem. Let's kill the negativity that comes when we start doing something. Sometimes as it strains, Negativity comes when we sit for reading a book. We like to keep the book and go away from that place. That's the negativity. Let's kill that negativity. Let's defeat the negativity. And let's go ahead with a very pleasant and positive mindset. The last slide we have here, the strings, you can take the screenshot and you can read. This is a very short story. Uh, the story is about the elephant. The elephant is the largest land animal. It is very strong animal. Though it is strong, it is sometimes found mentally weak. A person, when he saw an elephant that tied by a very small and weak rope, he was amazed to see that. If elephant wished to escape from that, he could easily break the rope. But the elephant did not do that because elephant always thinks that that the elephant cannot break the rope. That is the mental state. That is not the physical problem. Physically, that animal is so weak, but mentally, the elephant doesn't want to bring change in the life. The elephant itself doesn't know its own potentiality and talent. So less think ourselves and let's know ourselves how much talent, how much potentiality, how much potential we have in us and let's explore and let's conquer the world. Thank you so much for listening and uh, looking my presentations. So I hope you all understood that today's topic. From today we have started the lessons of SQC, the first chapter is attitude. So today we came to know the meaning of attitude. What is meant by attitude? Attitude is the feeling of something or somebody. And types of attitude, there are two types of attitude. Please remember positive attitude and negative attitude. And the students of grade 8 easily can say the examples of positive attitude and negative atti attitude. And finally, we finish our presentations by giving the difference between positive attitude and negative attitude. Now, if we are asked to choose what you like to have 
And obviously, 100%, we all say that we like to have positive attitude because it is the bright side of life, because it makes our life. Thank you. Now, let me come back to you. So let's have a discussion now. Okay, students of grade eight. So from your side, okay, what, what is your opinion about that, you know, uh, let's say behavior and attitude? So what knowledge uh, you have about attitude and behavior? Because for the first time, you, have not, uh, you are not hearing the term attitude. In grade seven also, we read about attitude and behavior. So you can say a few words. So why is okay, positive attitude important in human's life? Okay, let me be sure. Uh, class said students, did you understand today's topic or not? So you can raise your hands and show me. You can respond. How is that topic? Easy or tough? The main thing is not to know theoretically. It is the mindset that we have to build ourselves in our daily activities from very morning to the evening or night. So whatever we do, wherever we go, we always think positively. So if you start doing new thing, and you have to start thinking, winning in your mind, I can obviously do this work. Yeah, I have to learn some techniques, though this topic or this work is new for me, but it is not impossible for me. The work is very simple for me. Are you getting me clear, students? Can you speak or not? I think your mic is mute there. Today, I'm so happy to see many students have graded. Last time, there were only five, six students. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Salina. You are speaking there. I can hear you. So you can unmute yourself and you can say hi to your friends. And even you can say something about your life, your activities. So how are you feeling about the online class? And if I give homework to write a short story. To write a short story, okay, that shows good behavior, a good manner, the importance of good manner, good behavior. Can you do that homework or not? Class said, "Did you guess me?" So if I request you, if I ask you to to write a short story that describes about the importance of good manner, so. Will you be happy to do that work or not? Yes? Okay. I'm also new for you and you are also new for me. But I can see your name here. Uh, Dilasa, Yozana, Kelvin, Icha, Robinson, Paiska, Supreme, Sanisha, Pramita, Salina, Priyasna, Samabi. Very good to see you. Robinson, Abushan, Rohan, Smithy, Sogat. Oh, yes. Anybody please say, what is attitude in your own words? Gaurav. Altogether, there are 13 chapters in SQC. The first chapter is about attitude. And the second chapter, you know, teamwork. Then uh, remaining all the chapters belong to practical work. This lesson, the first chapter attitude is theory. Uh, for this, uh, you have to know the definitions, the meaning, and the importance of attitude. Uh, and uh, then how does attitude influence behavior? Now, let me know from you, okay? So what yes, is attitude, Gaurav? The uh, way we communicate to others. Uh, yes, yes. By, uh, yeah, to some extent, yes. Thank you. Very good. So how many types of attitude are there? Sir, how many types of attitude are there? Positive and negative. Yeah, there are two types of attitude, positive and negative attitude. Uh, can you give some examples of positive attitude? 
sir uh, good behavior talking to others in a polite way ah uh, yeah yeah so when you dislike something okay or someone uh, is that positive or negative attitude negative so do you like to have that uh, attitude or not sir no okay now uh, thank you so much gaurav thank you so much prajwal so prajwal can you unmute your mic yes sir okay uh, uh can you say something about the ideas the how can we build positive attitude so what can we do okay ourselves to uh, get a positive attitude in us we can uh, we can behave good to others we can uh, help others we can uh, talk politely to others to be in positive attitude okay so if i ask you about your personal life that means your daily activities nowadays so can you share with us just like at what time you get up in the morning then uh, what you do okay just uh, uh, as your usual activities i wake up at 7:30 i i wash my face and wash my hand then i start watching tv for 8 uh, 8 to 8:30 then i start uh, to eat uh, lunch then uh, i start reading with my sister after 11 o'clock uh, after uh, 12 o'clock i start online class and after 1 o'clock i do the homework that given in online class after that i start playing playing up to 6 pm and uh, and again come to study here up to 8 o'clock ah oh, very good yes prajal thank you so much thank you prajal uh, next arya we like to hear from you yes arya please unmute your mic please yes okay sir. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, for you the question is very simple again. Ah, uh, just like whenever we uh, face any problem, okay, yes. especially at your home nowadays. So how do you tackle that problem? How do you solve that problem? Sir, um, by um, by thinking positively first, by uh -huh. taking right decision. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes. By taking help. of our parents yes yes and uh, i know that you people all the students of grade eight you know the communicate well with your family yes you uh, share no, your problems with your parents yes. and you help your parents uh, in every work in household work like that yes thank you arya thank you so much abu san uh, sir almost time is going to over yes sir yeah abu san So where are you nowadays? At sir, in Dang. Ah, uh, in Dang, at your own home. Yes, sir. Uh, how are you feeling? Sir, I am feeling good. Okay, I was on. Ah, uh, then uh, this uh, today attending the first class of SQC. So did yes, you understand sir. any uh, topic or not? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, yes. Okay, and uh, let me know okay, about you that. Uh, So for these long days for two months, so did you learn any new skill or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So we could easily see that you started writing story and then poem. Okay, that's very good. So keep it up, Ayushan. So hope you are all good there. Ah, uh, do you remember? uh two weeks back i assigned you on homework i asked you to write a uh, story that uh, telling about the importance of good behavior so is anyone today here with a story if you have that then you can share with us can you hear me so if my voice is sound is reachable to you i think uh, what i said to you you are clear about that so i uh, received homework okay uh, from kelvin sapkota it was a very beautiful you know study about that uh, farmer with the positive mindset so how could he get success uh, how could that farmer get a, a success achieve success because he had you know so positive uh, mindset and he always think the best uh, for himself 
now how is the sound is the voice maximized okay thank you so much yeah sometime uh, you know that the net uh, becomes that unstable so no problem if the network is uh, lagging okay then uh, uh, we shall start today's class today also i have uh, you know small presentations so shall we start so how many of you are there let me see okay the number of students of uh, today's class so the students of uh, grade 8 i hope you are all good there and you are enjoying uh, online class and learning a lot from that okay let me share the screen okay uh day students of grade 8 uh first of all i'd like to welcome you uh in this class sometime you know we get the meaning of letters of a word and here you can see uh in your screen uh the the letter of each uh, that you know each letter of the word welcome has uh, the meaning uh like you know when you enter this room uh, learning is fun and cooperation is expected so our positive attitude and mutual respect are part of everything we do and say so every time every day in every period so when your teachers when your parents or when your friends welcome you in the class and remember that so you should be or we can be in the class with a positive attitude so that we can learn a lot okay because in every second in the human's life so we can learn many things or new things so welcome once again uh, uh, you can see there so let's start uh, today's class uh, with a thought so no poison can kill a positive thinker and no medicine can save a negative thinker so this is very familiar you know thought so everybody knows about this uh, that happiness in life is a matter of choice so it's on you or it's on us whether we choose happiness or sadness sorrow or you know the happiness it's upon us so let's always be happy even in the very panic situations uh, let's uh, okay try ourselves to be happy because uh, happiness always leads to the success you know well okay the success comes after happiness so when you become happy when you stay happy when you do any work then only that can result uh, you know to a beautiful work uh, that uh, helps us to get success uh, uh, last week you know the strength of great it so i was surfing the net uh, to find uh, the new thing about attitude and behavior and there i found many experiments which were done to show the good impacts of positive attitude the power of positive thoughts and power of uh, you know positive uh, words affirmations and uh, today i will tell uh, something about one of the experiment name of the experiment is uh, you can see on your screen uh, the rice experiment okay the experiment is the rice experiment uh, this experiment was done by you know dr masaru imoto uh, he is a japanese professor he is a japanese doctor and researcher the main aim of uh, this experiment is to show the power of positive words so what are the impacts or how can the positive words and positive uh, you know language uh, the good uh, uh, words good language impact on uh, one's life and uh, to do this experiment dr masaru imoto uh, he simply you know took some amount of cooked rice and along with the cooked rice uh, he took uh, three different jars three different bottles and in his bottle uh, he put the same amount or equal amount of rice the main thing that you have to understand about this experiment is uh, what he said every day in the morning for 30 days that is the important part you know he put cooked rice in three different jars and what he used to do every morning so he used to speak or he used to talk to the jars with the different languages with the different words 
to the first chat, uh, he said, you know, good words, positive words, like, you are so good, uh, thank you so much. So politely, uh, he used to speak to the first chat. And to the second jar, next, uh, he used to use, you know, let's say, not good words, impolite words, like, uh, you are stupid, and you are not good, you are so bad, okay, you create so many problems like this. And to the third jar, so what he used to do is, he didn't speak any word, he just ignored the third jar. So do you understand what I said? Uh, to the first jar, he said very good words, positive words, okay, and to the second jar, he used rough, or let's say very you know bad words, and to the third jar, uh, he ignored. He did not say anything. Okay? He was indifferent to the third star. And saying regularly for 30 days, okay, every day in the morning, that the reason was emerging. So what he found after 30 days, okay, slightly you can see in the uh, picture also. So when he examined after 30 days, so he found or uh, he uh, you know that the different results in different jars, and to the amazement, to his surprise, which he used to say good words, positive words, and that jar containing that rice, you know, that began to spread good smell with very good fermentation, and like this, you know. So the first jar. To which he thanked the thank rice that after 30 days, you know, that Imoto, that Masara Imoto found that the, you know, that rice or that jar was in good condition even after 30 days. And that uh, began to give or they began to spread very good aroma, smell. But about the second jar is what? To the jar which he used to say bad words like stupid, you are not good like that. And he saw that the rice was completely destroyed and that spread, you know, very foul smell, bad smell. And the third jar, so we, we always ignored. And the jar, okay, inside the jar, the rice that become, became so hard, that became crystal. So this experiment, you know, uh, Simply means, uh, this experiment was successfully, you know, uh, that showed to us that the positive words have very good impact. And this is the proof, you know, that the positive words with good intention always not serve. Even to the rice, the positive words, polite language not serve, and definitely. So if the teachers, the family, parents, or the people, so use you know polite or very positive words, or behave you know positively to the young students, and obviously the young students always you know not serve with very good you know uh, that is the attitude or uh, very strong you know that the life they have or they will have. But uh, negative words with the negative emotions, okay really destroy that so this is one of the experiment that shows why do we always talk about that we should think positively that the, we should have very good thoughts in our mind and why do we always talk about that we when we see anything we have to see the good thing and we have to listen to the good thing and we have to talk good thing because though we do not see or we do not notice that uh, the positive words or the positivity always has very you know the strong impact on life and this uh, much about the experiment okay now let's go to another topic day students so as a teacher uh, to the dear students of grade eight uh, i'd like to remind you okay you know this very well uh, these are some good manners like that so let's say you can see there so when you ask something okay to someone, then you can use the words like, excuse me, uh, you're welcome, 
And you, if you realize that when you have done some mistakes, especially with your family or friends, then you can say, I'm sorry. Okay, that being egoless, uh, use the words like this. And uh, when you find or when you feel that somebody helps you, uh, then in return, you can say thank you. If you are asking some for help or if you have asking for something, then you can say please like this. Uh, these are small steps that you can initiate to cultivate good manners in you. So let's be practical. Theoretically, we know many things, but be practical. Let's be practical and let's start that uh, being uh, positive and uh, uh, let's cultivate uh, good manners, good behavior. And you know that positive attitude always leads towards you know, good manners. Okay. Uh, so again, I want to remind you that so before you know you open your mouth, always open your mind. That means before you speak, okay, uh, that you uh, think. So you must know that what you are going to speak, what you are going to say, okay. Uh, you know that the God has given two ears and two eyes but one mouth. That means what? So we have to listen, we have to see more than we speak. Uh, yes, uh, like the words, positive words like this. So I would like to show you, uh, you can see clearly on your screen, uh, that is one word, uh, respect. Okay. Uh, in this word also, you can see that the letters have different meaning. Actually, R stands for, you know, respond in an appropriate manner to everyone. So R, the first letter of respect, can also be the meaning, uh, have the meaning like this, yes. excellence only, and uh, you know, as for stay in your own personal space, and keep for pay attention where you are, even in your family, uh, your household work, or when you come to the schools in your classroom, always pay attention, and the E for encourage, and C means, uh, you know, uh, that come prepare to learn, and finally, T for take responsibility. And uh, now, as you are the students are graded, uh, now you cannot say that, or you cannot think like that, you are too small. Now it's time for you to okay, be responsible because uh, you have achieved so uh, many knowledge so far life. And another word here, uh, the main that approach in SQC, you know very well. So there are four approaches in SQC. So one of the approach is uh, teamwork. So whatever we do in activity, so we believe that, Okay, we are doing in a team, so together. Okay, we always uh, play, we walk, we learn, we read, we write. Okay, and if we have a habit of doing work in a team, obviously, okay, then we can get respect from others also, and we can, uh, you know, get communication skill, and even we can enrich our minds. And next word, so always be smart. Uh, we know the students of Mount School are really smart. Okay, and let me say the meaning of smart here. It can be like this: uh, as say please and thank you. This is one of the good uh, behavior, a good manner everybody must have. And then for make friends and be thoughtful. Okay, relates to the collaborations, being in team. Uh, you know, win-win race. You know, and A for arrive in time. Uh, be punctual. Do, do not procrastinate. Okay. We should not procrastinate. Sometimes there can be, but the measure, the priority, you know, we should not procrastinate. That means everything we have to do in time and our respect, and then finally, our try our best. Okay, I think before you speak. So, what should we think before when we speak something? Okay, that means is, this, is that true? Or what you are going to speak, is that helpful? And what you are speaking, is, is it really inspiring? And we must know that, is that necessary or not? And finally, the polite language and polite words, is that kind or not like that? How uh, you are speaking? And if you have all these things, okay, if you really make your habit of following this, and then if, if, it, if that becomes a part of your life, then really you uh, reach in your destiny, or you can easily achieve your success. So uh, I, Humbly request all the students of grade eight. Okay, always remember. So you should treat others the way you want to be treated. Okay, so give respect and disrespect. So you cannot expect the good things. Okay, if yourselves are behaving you know, uh, in another way. 
So how you behave with others, same thing. So we will get in return. That Newton's third law said, you know, simply that action and reaction are equal, you know, but opposite. So that, remember this. So treat others the way so you want to be treated. I hope uh, the students are graded uh, today. Uh, they have understood uh, something about you know good manners, and uh, they also realize the very big or good impact about the you know positivity or positive words or the affirmations like that. Now uh, today's presentation is dismissed. So let me come back uh, to the class. Then we'll talk to each other. Uh, thank you, uh, great students. So what I presented just before, uh, let me know. Uh, was the topic clear? So voluntarily, uh, you, you you can feel free to speak. Okay, you can unmute your mic and uh, say something that uh, really uh, today. What you learn new things? I can see a few students. So Pajol Rao, uh, Abusan is there. Uh, Rohan also. Uh, Salina, Sunishit, Sogad, Gorab. So you are all good there. So today, uh, let me, uh, yes, uh, Salina, please, would like to say something. So did you understand uh, that about the experiment, the rice experiment? Yes, yes sir. Okay. I... Uh, yeah. So language is not barrier. So if you have uh, something to say from your side, so if you also experience something, you know, good. So when you have a really good mindset uh, yourself, you can share with us. The right uh, experience was in my nine art in bit science and uh, research who, uh -huh. who uh, was sir? Yeah, yeah. And the word we have said powerful as uh, effect on everything around us whenever it is right. It is a right of human beings. You, you work as you have. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Salina. Thank you. Okay, Saugat. Saugat, are you there? Yeah, do you like to say something, uh, you know? Yes, please. Uh, did you understand that uh, experiment or not? Okay, and uh, to you, I have one question. Okay, I'd like to ask. Uh, do you think that attitude uh, that the influences or attitude affects behavior? Education helps us to show the way that how we have to treat other. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, okay, and then uh, okay. Let me go to Sostika. Yeah, uh, Sostika, can you say something about that? Uh, if you have some idea about that, how can we build a you know, positive attitude. Now we realize that so positive attitude is very important in human's life. And uh, what is steps or what can we do, okay, uh, to build positive attitude in us? Yes, Swastika, you can mm -hmm. unmute your mic. Please. By treating in good manner. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Okay, class, it voluntarily you can speak, okay? So who likes to say or who likes to uh, share, then you can unmute your mic and speak. Uh, very simple questions I have to you all. That is, uh, when your teachers uh, give or when your teachers assign you homework, okay? At the moment, how do you feel? So, what's your feeling when you you know get homework or assignment or when you get any tax from your teachers or from from your parents? So, how do you respond? Just like okay, this uh, homework is for us. If we do homework then uh, we can learn or we can devise, then uh, we can understand the topic. Uh, you feel like that, you think like that, or yes, always you do homework, do homework, now it's become overload. If you, how do you feel? Yeah, Osmin is there. So can you share your experience? So when you get any tasks from your parents or from your teachers, so how yes, do sir. you react? Sir, I react uh, very good. Are like uh, very goodly. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So that's it. So that's it. Okay, Luniva. So how how do you utilize your time nowadays? You are at your home. So I think only one period you are taking online class. So have you completed all subjects homework that you are assigned? Yes, sir. All the. Okay. Then now uh, what sort? Okay, thank you. What suggestions do you give to your friends or to me 
Yeah, so that I also okay uh, that uh, can be you know uh, that will uh, have the very positive mindset. Uh, we have to uh, talk uh, politely to all the people. Uh, we have to be in good manners. Okay, uh, okay. class eight students <laughs> to all. Okay, uh, like there are two types of attitude, positive attitude and negative attitude. So what we think, our thought is attitude, and what we do is action and that action is behavior okay our action is behavior and sometimes you also experience that when we think unknowingly you do such kind of activity like that so like there are two types of positive uh, two attitude like positive and negative attitude so how many types of behavior are there can you hear me and means i ask you yes. just uh, simply to okay remind the types of behavior anyone can, can give the answer uh -huh, yeah yeah there are two at behavior, the positive behavior and negative behavior. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Then other other please friends of grade eight. Uh, can you give some examples of good behavior, a uh, positive behavior? Ah, uh, Prajal, you are here. Yes, sir. Okay, Prajal. Can you give examples of good behavior? Let's say positive behavior. Talking politely, thinking good of everyone, and helping others. Okay, it's to all one psychological question. Okay, so when you find so anyone in problem, then how do you help him or her? Okay, the person is seeking for help okay, to go somewhere like that. Then how do you help that person? Uh, you ask other people to help him or her. Okay, yes. For myself. Yeah, yeah. Please, please. Okay, you you do or you help uh, yourself. Okay, yes, what if do you I... say that? Uh, yeah, what do you say, Rohan, about this? Rohan? Yes, sir. I, I think today you are the first time okay in this class. No, sir. Oh, last time also you were there. Yes, sir. Okay. I do you have any answers uh, about helping others? That uh, what ideas or what do you do uh, to help uh, the persons in problem? Sir, we can do according to their problems. What we can do? Uh huh. Yes. 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 Okay. Physically. Yeah, physically or economically. Ah, uh, final. The last questions I have. Okay, to all the students of grade eight. Ah, uh, uh, you are at your home with your family. Okay, with your parents. Ah, uh, let me ask you simply to say. Okay, some good characters of your father. And mother, so one by one now. Okay, this is the questions to all. Uh, you can say two, three good characters of your father and mother. So, what good characters do you find uh, in your parents? Okay, and let me go from uh, Pramita. Pramita, did you help me? Yes, sir. Uh, do you know the question? Okay, please. So, you are asked to uh, simply say some good characters of your father and mother. First, uh, Mother, then father, okay? Okay, sir. Yes. Um, mother helps to teach um, some. Uh, hmm? Yes, okay. And uh, mother also. Uh, hmm. Mother also helps to. Mm -hmm. uh, mother also helps. Uh, mother also talk politely with me and my brother. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And Thank you, Father. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, let me go to uh, Abushan. Okay, Abushan. So, did you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I think you now it's your turn to give answers. Okay, uh, to the questions what I have asked. Ah, uh, simply you are asked to say some good characters of your father and mother. Sir, my father and mother. Yeah. Okay, after Abhushan, I'll come to Sogat. Okay, Sogat, please be ready. Excuse me, sir. We have less than one minute. I think about your parents. Okay. Thank you, Abhushan. So, okay, so, Sogat, your turn now. The time is going to over, sir. Less than one minute. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, class. Thank you so much. So, finally, okay, I'd like to conclude uh, today's class uh, simply saying that, you know, uh, please uh, know the positive words and please uh, live happily. Thank you so much.